The LA Metro is one of the busiest public transit systems in the country, but recently it's been riddled with crime, homelessness, and violence. Some people are choosing to avoid riding the Metro altogether, but for many, it's the only way to get around. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos takes us inside the LA Metro and shows us why women are most at risk. It's 8.30 in the morning and Morgan de los Reyes is on her way to work. She rides the Metro daily from downtown Los Angeles to USC, where she's a scientist. What station are we at? We are at Pershing Square. What are you seeing every day? Um, a lot of times just people sleeping like they have nowhere else to go. I see a lot of people using all sorts of different drugs, um, a lot of weed. Someone happened to have a lighter on them for other purposes, but he took that lighter and just lit the guy's backpack strap on fire while the other guy was asleep. And you were on the same train? Yeah. We ride along with her on her morning commute. Part of it is on the red line. I've seen some, seen some stuff on what the chairs. What have you seen on the chairs? I mean, liquid, poop, and blood. blood. Over at MacArthur Park Station, music is being played on the platforms, part of a Metro pilot program to reduce crime and drive away the unhoused. We, we had it one night, we push, push, push. Inside the station, we meet Reina Jimenez, who tells us about witnessing a violent attack involving a knife on a recent train ride. Do you feel safe? No, no. I keep my eye out when I see other women on the train because really not a safe place for women to be. A recent survey polling over 12,000 riders showed a drop in female ridership on both buses and trains. Metro found safety was a top concern among those polled, followed closely by cleanliness and homelessness. In March, the LA Metro launched an ambassador program with nearly 300 ambassadors, whose job is to provide safety and support to riders. I'll like wave to you and say like, I'm a safe trip. Um, but that's kind of all that I've really seen them do. In February, Metro says there were three people raped on their transit system, and there were 39 instances of aggravated assault, both significant increases from the year before. And he bit me right here. In December, Carol Bodman was attacked near Compton at the Delamo station while waiting for the train. And the man came right to me, was this close to my face, screaming at me call himself God. And so then I came and sat here, like this. I was sitting here. I could hear it ripping. He bit me so hard, I could feel where every single tooth hit was on my head. Ever since, Carol says she's filled with anxiety on the train and would rather avoid them. But for Morgan, she says she'll keep riding the Metro and hope it gets better. It's cheap, it's convenient, and I just wish that I didn't have to carry pepper spray with me on my morning commute. And the LA Metro tells KTLA they are aware of these safety issues and proactively working on a plan to address them using a combination of resources, including those safety ambassadors, law enforcement, and homeless outreach to improve the conditions for their customers. Reporting from downtown Los Angeles, I'm Annie Rose Ramos, KTLA 5 News.